few details on the school prayer controversy we've been tracking since 2010. Local religious groups are coming to the defense of the girl who caused the controversy. Jessica Alquist claims the banner that had been hanging inside Cranston West for decades offended her. She filed a lawsuit and won. After a judge sided with Alquist, she began to get threats, which she claims were even deadly. Now she has some defenders. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has our story new at 5. Well, yes, 13 clergy members came together today in Cranston. They say they want to stick up for Jessica and have some civil discussion. Rather Plenty of support this afternoon for Jessica Alquist, the teen atheist at the center of the prayer banner controversy. Local clergy coming together at the Edgewood Congregational Church condemning what they call inappropriate language used by some to describe Alquist. We believe that the majority of people in this fair city want the hateful speech to stop. Must we always kill the prophets and stone to death those who sent us? This coming one week after hundreds came out to ask the school committee to appeal a federal judge's decision. I say to you, do not take that prayer off the wall. The judge ruled the decades-old prayer banner at Cranston High School West must come down. I already won the lawsuit, and fairly so. I think the judge made the right decision, obviously. Today's meeting was held by the Rhode Island State Council of Churches. Executive Minister Reverend Dr. Don Anderson says he decided to hold the meeting because of emails that he says he's received asking them to stick up for Alquist. There's toxic speech that broke out uh, at meetings. There was bullying going on. Uh, there are There is radio demagoguery going on, and that's hurtful. People in this state have actually made it harder for her to believe that there is such a thing as a faith community that would welcome a questioning spirit. And in my opinion, they're pushing her away from the world of faith instead of drawing her in. And several of the clergy who came out today say they have a history in Cranston. Several of them went to Cranston West High School themselves. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.